Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 6th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at 48 hours imagery of our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking here, this is 304 angstroms, which is the filter that is used. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. This is cresting imagery, large plasma filament there. And as well, a couple minor sunspot regions turning in. And then looking at the outgoing here, the last 48 hours, this is where we did see a coronal mass ejection take off from the outer limb here in the last few images. Looking at multi-spectrum, still visible solar tornadoes in the top left and as well action in the top right. Coronal hole building southern and equatorial region visible here on multi-spectrum and that large plasma filament still stretching across the front surface of our sun. 193 angstroms here. This is where you can also see our coronal hole, which is blackened regions on our sun, cooled region on our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to give a like. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Having a look now at eight sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. Looking at them in action here, this is the last 48 hours. Sped up a little bit here. Looking at current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about, but we will have a little bit of activity heading in tomorrow. Solar winds are coming in at 399 kilometers per second right now. And as I said, tomorrow and early tomorrow, overnight tonight, could be expecting a G1 geomagnetic storm, 30% chance of R1 or R2 radio blackouts. Solar X-ray flux showing a small C-class solar flare as well. A little pattern with our solar X-ray flux. ISPWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off towards planet Mercury in an outgoing position. Very large CME can see that a blackened part that is some very deep space weather cosmic energy closer look here and just so everybody knows that little yellow circle there is earth we've got expected space weather event coming in on the 8th having a look at Alaska 2 showing the last 48 hours of imagery taking off from our sun cosmic energy on its way and firing away from our sun see me there top left and then the last few views there the latest CME now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we still got an earthquake event happening in Japan this is now three days straight where they've seen earthquakes and now they're starting to move northward towards Kuril Islands and Kamchatka very active region right now we're going to be giving you a volcano update coming this weekend so stay tuned. Look at all this action. Over 270 earthquakes, according to USGS right now, across this map. Activity up into Alaska as well, all through the Aleutian Islands. Sizable 4.4, 4.1, and as well 4.0 towards Anchorage, Alaska. Hawaii is still seeing residual activity. 60 or 84 earthquakes on the region. And here's our deepest 4.3 Fiji, 478 kilometer depth as well. Papua New Guinea, the lonely earthquake through Indonesia. But yeah, quite concerning up through Alaska and Lucian Islands. And of course, the submarine volcano south of Japan, quiet across North American plate right now. Nothing major to re report or swarms to report. Sizable 5.4 here reported the Cocos Plate, Panama, and as well Chile with a 4.5, couple 4.5s. Quiet across the African Plate and up into Europe. 
But yeah, we're going to get a closer look here at the Hawaiian Island. As noted here with daily events worldwide, keeping an eye on Kilauea, USGS reporting 284 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Definite increase. Most of the activity coming from Japan and as well Hawaii and into Alaska. So three hotspot regions. Notable here, south of Kamchatka. Having a look at Hawaii, as they're reporting 94 earthquakes across the island and 84 of them on the southeast rift here of the Kilauea summit caldera. Kilauea volcano on watch right now, getting ready for a possible fissure eruption with all these earthquakes the last three or four days. They have been increasing. As reported here with daily events worldwide and just after an earthquake watch and warning video provided to you by daily events worldwide. Nothing major to report across the USGS. No real notables except for all the action into Alaska, Aleutian Islands, and Japan. Heads up. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 478 kilometer depth. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Noting all that activity in Japan, a couple deep thrust earthquakes there. Notable earthquakes up into northern India and China. Tibetan Plateau. And way too quiet across North American plate and into Central America. Heads up, we got something brewing. Something big is coming. And I think it's going to be more than just a six-pointer or a seven-pointer. We are under a lot of pressure right now. And a lot of deep earthquakes have occurred in Fiji this past seven days. Having a look here at SO2 emissions, as not much has changed since yesterday's update, showing still a lot of SO2 Eastern Canada, United States, and as well across the North Pacific. But really, all of this nasty air quality has encompassed the Northern Hemisphere. Affecting every country around the world, except for the Tibetan Plateau, Mongolia, and parts of Southern Russia and Northern China. Higher elevations there, just not getting it. quick look here over the Atlantic Ocean. Huge low pressure center there is set to bring in some pretty stormy weather across Western Europe and the United Kingdom. Should clear out this nasty air quality for you guys in the long range. Speaking of long range forecast, let's get to it by windy.com. We've got Tropical Storm Felipe heading towards Northeastern United States, Atlantic provinces, and then watch as it turns and heads towards Hudson Bay, Canada, and gathers some pretty cold temperatures as there will be snow falling in parts of northern Ontario from Tropical Storm Felipe. As it is forecast to hang around there until about the 12th into the 13th before another low pressure system comes in and some cold temperatures coming in behind that, will bring some snowfall to higher elevations across the United States through the Rockies. And then watch in the long range forecast, 14th into the 15th, pretty extreme weather event will be occurring through the Gulf states and heading northeastward. Now let's have a look at snowfall totals over the next little bit. Parts of northern Ontario expected to see upwards of 26 centimeters of snow. That's about 9 to 10 inches. Lots of snow falling in parts of Greenland, or sorry, Iceland. Some heavy snowfall totals up there. Polar vortex, as I showed yesterday in the video, is setting up. Having a look over Africa and Europe. Big low pressure center heading into Russia. Large low pressure centers coming from Iceland and through the central Atlantic affecting most of Western Europe. 
United Kingdom, Norway and Sweden, Finland, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, long range forecast, we've still got a pretty strong system developing and heading towards Japan may give a grazing blow with this typhoon. Other than that, long range forecast showing another tropical system developing west of the Philippines heading towards Thailand. And as well, lots of systems heading through the North Pacific, bashing into Alaska over the next few days, NBC. So heads up, heavy snowfall totals could be in effect for higher elevation regions. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please leave a like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.